everybody, I'm in the Little Wood, also known as Martin, and welcome back to Minecraft on the Xbox 360. So today, I'm going to be starting a Let's Play. I said this was something that I was interested in doing, and a lot of people seem to express an interest as well. So uh, I've come up with a really cool name, I think, and a really cool objective in mind uh, in order to do so. So I'm going to call the series Nether Ending, mainly because I can then play it off as, oh, well, I've done my goal, but we may as well carry on playing it with some friends or something. Or I can literally get to the end, uh, sorry, to the never and then that would be where the series would end it's kind of half and half at the minute as to what I'll do uh, oh no it's not I need an ING at the end there but yeah so essentially my goal for this entire series is basically just to get all the achievements I want to rack up my gamer score although I can't really because I'm on a, a little second account because <laughs> I've already played quite a lot of Minecraft Xbox on the I Am Spoon server um, so the problem is is that I've already got like half the achievements so the start of this like let's play wouldn't be very good at all and I'm also having to play in offline mode so what I have to do is I have to start with this world and then go play in online afterwards I'm pretty sure I can transfer or play on different worlds based off different hard drives and stuff so I should be okay I should be all right I'll be good but um, one thing that I've noticed already so far is that if you play with an offline account for some reason even if you gain the achievement it will come up in the menu that you've achieved it but it doesn't come up on your screen you know with the little logo it says you've gained this one here's this many G you don't get that so every time I'm gonna have to know exactly what I'm going for and then you know once I achieve it just checking the achievements page on the pause menu whether I've actually gotten it so uh, that's quite cool a lot of people as well were telling me to use the Gargamel seed because they know that one from back in the day or a lot of people were saying the 404 seed maybe that's something that I could do as like a dual con with somebody else on the Minecraft Xbox because one that was difficult before with a mouse and keyboard <laughs> and two it's going to be even more difficult now with a control so it'd be quite interesting to see how that one would play out and I'm literally right on a bloody ledge as soon as I start so right let's have a look at the achievement list we'll basically just go through them in order if I can um, so craft a workbench is the next one that I'm going to need to do uh, as a little tester just to see if you can get achievements on these like second accounts um, that's why I already have the first two the first two is like open your inventory uh, and getting wood I think it was so it's nothing too major to worry about so there's a lot of flatland here which I really like so I could probably flatten this out and make myself a house unless I want to explore outwards a little bit more is there really a creeper here already we've not even had a night cycle yet I didn't realize that they just spawn like randomly in the middle of the day as well what the hell <laughs> right hold on a minute here we go. So I'm basically going to do the same that I always do. Grab some wood, get a wooden pickaxe. Don't even bother with a wooden cutting axe. Just just get all the stuff out of the way straight away. And of course, because this is a newer character, it's going to make me do all that stuff straight away. Uh, get some wood, get that, get some wood, get that. Uh, I'm going to need a little bit more wood, aren't I? Let me just grab a tiny bit of this. Oh, there's sheep there as well. Good, 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 good. Cool. Let me just grab these sheep. You're done, son. And... You're done, son. Now, how does how do mobs work in this one? Do they just they randomly generate again, don't they? I think it was in the later versions when we got breeding where animals didn't respawn if you killed them. So, if I kill pigs and cows and stuff, I don't have to worry too much about it, do I? No, I don't think I do. I'll be all right. I should be okay. Uh, cool. Right, let's just get another piece of wood. Uh, I already have a crafting bench. I almost made another one pointlessly just then. Oh, no, actually, wait. I like this spot here. <gasps> we should have a house here. Okay, yeah, wait, 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 wait. Let's think this through. Right, cool. Let me make a pickaxe. Uh, stone one. There we go. And then what we'll do is I'll grab a ton of stone and I can make a, um, I can make a stone pickaxe, which obviously helps with the rest. And then all my other, t all my other tools will be stone as well. Although I do think that there is an achievement, isn't there, where you upgrade from a wooden item to a stone one. Um furnace where is it where's the, where's the weapon one getting an upgrade construct a better pickaxe all right okay so that one we'll get anyway beautiful see a lot of these achievements are going to be pretty easy so this might be like the shortest lp ever but <laughs> but yeah that's all good if anyone wants to make fan art for this by the way i've had an idea for what i want the thumbnail to look like if you go to the link in the description i'll do a really bad like photoshop mock-up of what i want the thumbnails to look like so if you could throw that together for me somebody on deviant art or something um, that would be really awesome. And if it's somebody that I've featured on the channel before as well, then uh, you know that I trust your artistic abilities and your judgment to make it look really awesome. So if you could do that, I would really, really love that. Right, uh, one of them was to make a furnace, wasn't it? Oh, wrong one. I'm called ITLW on this little, like, bogus account. Right, here we go. Achievements. What we got? 
So we've already got like nearly one row. <laughs> this is literally going to be like a free episode Let's Play. But that's fine. It kind of just shows off how short the Xbox Live side of things are. Um, did I get the furnace one? Oh yeah, I did get the furnace one. Cool. Well, let's make a better pickaxe then. Still got some sticks in order to do so. That's another achievement done. I keep pressing that button. Because when I want to check achievements, I'm like, oh yeah, let me just press the home button. Right, cool. So we've got that one. Smelt an iron ingot. Use planks and sticks to make a hoe. Alright, let me do that then. Uh, sticks and... Oh, I don't think I really needed to do that. Wait, wait, if you do that... Ah, okay. I always thought you had to left click on the crafting table to use it. But if you actually press crafting with X, it still gives you the same result. So there you go, that's something new that I've learned. So you press X up there, you get that. Press X down there, you get that. Ah, huh, that's quite cool. I like that. Um, I need a little bit more wood. So let me just quickly make a, um, a stone axe. There we go. Uh, oh, I've also learned as well that you can use the D-pad to move between blocks on your um, between blocks on your inventory and your hotbar as well. That's something that Sam taught me, Iron Spoon. Uh, right, here we go. Just grab. I'll grab the entire tree, may as well. There we go. So I'm probably going to have to find a place to sleep and also find a place to to do some other bits. Maybe if this series is going to be too long, maybe what I should do is I should end the episode every day when I go to sleep. Do you reckon? Maybe maybe we could do it like every night cycle so it's like day one, day two. I don't know. I kind of like that idea. I feel like if it's going to be cut short, then we may as well like sort of elongate it a little bit. By doing that, I mean stuff like you know creating these minecart tracks to do the 500 meters. That's going to take some going, <laughs> to be honest. So I don't know. We'll, we'll think of a way to sort it all out. Uh, oh, sorry, I need to make thing. Don't I first wood, then I can make the hoe. Beautiful. Right, achievements. We got one row yet? No. Okay. Smelt an iron ingot. Saddle. Harvest some leather. Attack and destroy a monster. Ah, well there was a creeper around. Here, where are we looking? Where's a sword? Can I not make a sword? Oh, I think I need wood to make the sword. Right, cool. Let's go across to there. You don't have all the ingredients. All oh, right, okay. It's all right. Thanks for telling me. Oh, I need sticks. Oop, derp. There we go. I make myself a sword. Or maybe my object. I don't know. Should I get all the achievements, or should I make one of every item in the game? So obviously, I'll get all the achievements and like stuff like a clock and stuff might not particularly uh, might not be easy to come by. I don't know, it's sort of up to you really, it, it's, you're the ones that are watching, so I will do whatever it is you would like. So yeah, if you leave it in the comments section, whatever you think to it, because obviously this is episode one, so this is always going to be like the birthing stage, the teething stage. So we can decide at a later point what we're going to be doing. Uh, now where was that creeper? He was over here, was he not? No? I thought he was. Could have sworn he was, there must be another creeper somewhere else then. Unless he's climbed up here. I could also do with some food as well in case I take some damage. Because in this version of the Minecraft Xbox, it's instant heal as opposed to hunger and stuff like that, which I kind of miss a little bit. I've been using it for the last day or two on the server and it's like, oh my god, I forgot how easy it used to be. There we go. Oh, there's a snow biome just off in that distance. Do you see it? That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh, I'm crouching. Sorry. There we go. I can show you the rude trick as well. Um, when you... When you Oh, it's just so rude. Okay, basically when you get into a bed, you can make it look like you're pleasuring yourself. Um, oh my god, check Hyrule Plainlands. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, but basically you can make it look like you're pleasuring yourself. It's very odd. It's very, very odd. There we go, got some leather. And again, press the home screen button when it's supposed to be start. Is that one row? Oh yeah! Got one row. Turn wheat into bread. I haven't seen any tall grass, I don't think. I'll have to go find some. There we go. Got it. Uh, there's some more sheep over here. Let me just grab their wool. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Now, am I the only person who, back in the day when it was this this colour wool and the bed was red, that thought, oh, you know, by the time the game's fully released, we'll be able to, we'll be able to, you know, <laughs> we'll be able to have, you know, different colour beds. It's still not a thing that happens. No. We're getting to mod API before we get to different colour beds. Sort of says something about the game, doesn't it? It's sort of a bit weird. Right, come here, you. I know I've already harvested some leather, but I may as well grab all of it. Because if these are all going to respawn during the day, then I may as well kill them all off now. There we go. Because I'm going to kill them off at one point or another, so I may as well gather as many resources as possible. Uh, okay, so there's nothing there. Actually, I could do with finding some coal before it gets too late. 
Uh, oh, beautiful. Gotcha. There we are. There might be some iron here as well. Now, the best thing about this, I don't know if anybody's noticed this yet, but um, a lot of people thought that maybe you could make another map with the sugar canes that are in the game. But actually, the world is only one map sized. So by that I mean that I can go to the edge of this world and there'll be one of those invisible walls and that's as far as the world goes yet currently in Minecraft. So I don't know. I, it's kind of nice because I think it limits people because a lot of people have been saying, oh, I heard it's not as good as the PC version. But for me, I quite like it because I feel like other people are going to have things slowly like, you know, dripped to them. You know, like they're going to be slowly uh, spoon fed with different items. So people that are brand new to Minecraft, they're going to be exactly the same as we were, you know, back in the day when we were first starting. And by back in the day, I mean like one year ago or something. <laughs> or is it two? When did I start playing? I started playing just before the Halloween update in 2010. Wow, yeah, I've been playing this, what, a year and a half already? Holy mother of God. I didn't realise didn't realize I've been playing Minecraft for that long. And somehow I'm still not bored of it. Like, the survival games is super awesome. And actually, speaking of survival games, um, Chad has added an update in, uh, this morning, I think it was, or last night. He sent me a tweet about it earlier on today, where basically you can now whisper people, but it only works within a three-block radius, which is something that we wanted for a while. The ability to whisper, but you can't, like, do a tell to somebody that's halfway across the map. So, I think that would be quite cool, actually. I think the alliances won't be as obvious then. So, I'm quite looking forward to that. Uh, now, where were we going to build our house? We're going to build it here, weren't we? So, if we're going to build a house, we could really do some... Is it getting to sunset? Where's the sun at? There, okay, cool. So, we're not too far... Oh, no, my axe! No, come back! Oh, God's sake. Let me grab that. Oh, there we go. Good. Right, i tell you what. Let's get up here. We need to build a house first for night time. There we go. It doesn't need to be the biggest house for now. We can, we can build and progress later on. As long as we've got something that somewhat looks like a house to begin with... That'll be nice. There we go. Of course, it's just going to be a standard square home. Of course. Unless I want to make it a different shape on purpose. Yeah, let's do that. I always make square homes. Balls to it. I'm going to make a really cool, like... I'm just going to do a really erratic outline. I'm going to do what Kupo does with me. When, Ku when me and Kupo are building together, she'll just tell me to make some crazy shape. And then somehow she manages to turn it into, like, a work of art. It's unreal. I don't even know how she does it. Right, there we go. One thing I've noticed as well, actually, I was talking about this the other day. I'm crouched right now on the game, but the problem is, is that for some reason, out of habit, I don't know why, I think it's because you hold down the crouch button on the PC, but um, right now, I keep wanting to hold down the LT button to crouch. I don't know if that's one of the alternate controls in the uh, in the control menu, but that is definitely... Hooray! You've been awarded with a gamer pick featuring Steve from Minecraft. Thanks. There you go. I don't know what I did to qualify for that. Maybe I made it to, to the first night unharmed. Maybe that was it. Uh, right, let's go then. Uh, I'll take down the birch tree. I don't really like birch trees. I think I've expressed my opinion on birch trees before now. I don't really like them. They're just sort of they're a little bit pointless, uh, IMO. There we go. Good. Uh, oh, hello. Let's grab some pork off you as well then, friend. Oh, it's getting to night time. Leave the pig. Leave the pig. Build a home. Leave the pig. Build a home. Um, Where are we going? Should we build it out in the open or should we build it into a mountain? Let's build it into there. Yeah, why not? So we don't really need all that much wood. Yeah, let's build it into the mountain. I think that'd be cool. Just got to keep an eye on our back. I tell you what, if I make some um, some sticks, make some torches. Can lay some torches around here so nothing comes and attacks us. There we go. Uh, there we go, one there. I still notice that there are quite a few lighting bugs. I like how <laughs> even the bugs from back in the day... Are, uh, are still present in the Minecraft Xbox 360 version. It's it's kind of interesting. It's kind of weird and different. Also, as well, uh, they made like a million dollars off this already within its first week, which is just insane. But I think I think like I said before, it's for a lot of people that have Minecraft already, but they can never really play it because the computer is not up to par. Or you know, people have been nagging at people about it for ages, and now it's on Xbox Live. It's on a platform that's more accessible for people. So I don't know. It's kind of interesting to see how many it sells. Although I did see that um, the creator of Fez was kind of annoyed because Notch got details of the sales after the first day. Whereas he's not had them and he's, he's already been like a month or so. So Notch was like, oh man, I'm sorry. I, you know, I didn't realise it was like that. So <laughs> yeah, so he seemed to be a little bit annoyed. Lighting bug. There we go. But yes, oh god, speaking of Fez, by the way, um, Junk Boy actually tweeted out the um, thing that I did. You know, the, the Fez village build. He actually tweeted that out, so I love it when like people from Mojang tweet stuff out because I assume that they would share it with other people in the office. 
So it's kind of exciting to know that other people that, you know, work at Mojang get to see the stuff that you make and whatnot. Uh, I'll put that torch in here. I'm going to need that. There we go. That's a bit too dark, isn't it? Let me grab enough one of those. There we are. Cool. Actually, if I put a torch on each wall, we'll just make a very temporary small home for now. As soon as it's the first night, I may as well uh, get myself to sleep. And then I can end the first episode there for today. So what we'll do is, if I leave it there for today, everybody should leave a comment down below of what they think of the series, what you think of the name. I don't think the name's going to be changing because I quite like the name, so that's not up for debate. I'm just saying. But um, yeah, what do you reckon? Should we try and craft one of every item as well as get all the achievements? Because if we call it Never Ending, what I'll do is I'll leave going into the Never until dead last in the entire series. Unless there's an achievement that requires, oh, I suppose, Glowstone. I suppose we do a bit of both, don't we? I don't know. It's up to you. Leave a comment down below. Uh, be sure to leave a like on the video if you made it this far. I've started asking for likes now just because I've seen how it, how much it does help people. You know, it does make, make people's videos appear higher up on rankings. And, you know, that helps the sapling community grow. And if you watch to this point, I don't think it's unreasonable to ask for something like that. So, so yeah, there you go. So, yeah, let me know what you reckon. And uh, I'm just going to go to sleep. So, as soon as I hit the sleep button, I'll be able to do this let me just make a bed just so you see me do it legit so i don't get blown up just before we leave <laughs> because it's probably gonna happen right there we go we're safe uh does that have to be away from the wall i don't remember let's plonk it oh no no wait 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 wait, wait. i want it there we go so there's a little gap around it uh shall i make a furnace as well just before we leave or shall i leave that till next time how many achievements have we got have we got just the one row i tell you yeah i'm gonna leave that oh no i've already i've already made the furnace haven't i Oh, that's alright. Okay, cool. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave you there for today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. That is my bed that I'm going to go sleep in. And I shall see you all in a little bit. Oh, by the way, tonight, uh, Diablo 3 stream, hopefully, with Luke. That's why there's only one video today. Okay, cool. Bye. Bye! <laughs>